Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, you will learn about the selection of evaporators and their application in process industries. Evaporators are unit operation and their main purposes are to concentrate a product by boiling out. It removes solvent, normally water and sometimes solid or organic compounds. It produces consistent quality products in process industry. There are mainly seven types of evaporators which are widely used in process industry. Batch pan evaporators, forced circulation evaporators, natural circulation evaporators, Wiped and thin film evaporators, rising and falling film evaporators, and mechanical vapor recompression evaporators. An evaporator is designed on the basis of these seven parameters. First one is the capacity, which reflects the evaporation rate and the product viscosity product fouling, soluble and the insoluble impurities, steam pressure and its consumption, temperature sensitivity of the product like for the milk or the ammonium nitrate and the material grade. Mainly evaporators are selected based on the viscosity and the fouling tendency. In case of falling film evaporators, viscosity of the material should be less than 300 Cp and it should not contain high falling materials. While for the forced circulation evaporators, viscosity can be 5000 Cp and it is suitable for high falling material. For thin film evaporators, Viscosity can be high side that is 10,000 Cp but it is also not suitable for high fouling material. For the case of very high viscosity and the high fouling, wipe film evaporators can be used in process industry. This diagram shows a selection guide based on the viscosity and falling tendency of the product. If both the viscosity and the falling tendency of the product is low, then a film type evaporators can be used. But if the viscosity and the falling tendency is very high, then wiped film evaporators can be used. Similarly, if the viscosity and the falling is on the mid level, then recirculated film or the four circulation plate or the tubular evaporators can be selected. This diagram shows the steam consumption with the selection of a single or multi effect evaporators. You can see on the diagram that the green line show when there is a single effect evaporator the steam consumption is very high to remove the water from the product. But as the stages increases, the steam consumption reduces. And in three effects evaporator, steam consumption redu reduces up to 50%. The reason be behind this steam consumption reduction is that the process vapors of the first stage are being utilized as a heating media in the second stage and similarly for the third stage. Evaporators are used based on the required specifications of product. For titanium sulfate product having concentration 40% of sulfuric acid, single effect rising film evaporators are highly recommended while for phosphoric acid 
containing calcium and the silica compounds for circulation evaporators are used in case of ammonium nitrate the selection of evaporators varies according to the requirement of its concentration if the concentration is in between 65 to 89 percent then multi effect rising film evaporators are highly recommended to conserve the steam and to achieve the required concentrations while for the concentration from 89 to 96 percent simple falling film evaporators are used on the other hand if the required concentration of ammonium nitrate is greater than 96 percent then falling film evaporators with a heated air sweep systems are used in case of caustic soda having concentration less than 40 percent and the nickel compound falling film plate evaporators are selected for the solvent recovery products containing solid and the organic solvents batch pan evaporators are recommended to avoid the flammability risk in case of waste water having corrosive chemicals or the solid materials mechanical vapor recompression evaporators are widely used in the process industry material grades of each evaporator is selected based on the nature of the product or the service for the caustic soda having concentration less than 40% a carbon steel material can be selected but for the higher concentration greater than 40% nickel material is recommended in case of nitric acid having concentration 60% and the target of the outlet temperature is greater than 60 celsius then tantalum material is highly recommended for the evaporator in case of ammonium nitrate for the multi effect evaporators the shell material should be 321 stainless steel while the tubes material should be 304l stainless steel the difference of the shell material is due to the use of the process vapors which contains highly fluorides compounds which can impact the thickness of the shell and the tubes so the selection of materials in this multi effect evaporators should be very critical for the ammonium nitrate having concentration greater than 90% shell and the tubes material can be selected 304l similarly for the food products like dairy juices and the sugar a material grade 316l stainless steel can be selected but if the food products contain high salt like sodium chloride then the material should be titanium or the duplex stainless steel